Hey guys, it's Jeremiah from Android Headlines. Uh, doing a quick unboxing of the Kyocera DuraForce on AT&T. Uh, this is essentially the same phone as the uh, Kyocera Brigadier on Verizon. Doesn't have the uh, Sapphire Crystal display, but spec-wise, it's about the same. Uh, it's got a Snapdragon 400 chipset uh, clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, two gigs of RAM. 8 megapixel camera on the back, 2 megapixel camera on the front, uh, power buttons there on the top, uh, as well as uh, is that a speakerphone? That might be the push to talk because it's got uh, AT&T's push to talk capabilities. It's heavy duty, water resistant, scratch, dust resistant. Everything has a flap, so the headset jack on the top um, is there volume keys and the push to talk button. Uh, on the other side we've got a flap for the micro SD card. Charging ports on the bottom. Again, water resistant flap there. Uh, camera and flash on the back. So lots of startup options here. Uh, compa uh, hardware buttons, not capacitive buttons. Back home and recents. And then the speakerphone's on the bottom there too. Only thing they give you in the box is obviously the menu. Uh, or the instruction manual rather. Charger. Micro USB cable. So the biggest thing with the uh, Kyocera DuraForce is that it's heavy duty. It is um, IP68 dust and waterproof and 810G military standard uh, dust, shock, vibration, temperature, uh, all kinds of other stuff proof as well. So whether you're in the rain, you're in high altitudes, solar radiation, uh, salt fog, so if you're on a boat or something, um, this thing is tough and will take a beating. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have that sapphire crystal display that the Verizon Brigadier does. But uh, other than that, they're pretty much identical phones. Um, so just a quick unboxing of the Kyocera DuraForce on AT&T.